What is up, the people of YouTube? Just helping you out here, and for today's video, I will be doing uh, Chapter 22, Problem 57 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. And Chapter 22 is all about electric fields, and problem in Problem 57, um, it says that we have an electric dipole and we are given the magnitude of the charges and their separation, so like the distance between them, um, and the strength of the electric field that they're in. And we're asked to find the magnitude of the electric dipole moment and for part B, the difference in potential energies um, if the dipole was anti-parallel and parallel to the electric field. So for part A, um, we know that uh, dipole moment is equal to charge times distance. And we are actually given both of those, so we can just plug them right in. And that'll be 1.5 times 10 to the negative ninth times 6.2 times 10 to the negative sixth. And that should give you 9.3 times 10 to the negative 15th uh, coulomb meters. And then for part B, um, we need to find the difference in the potential energies of uh, parallel versus anti-parallel. Now, if it's parallel to the electric field, its angle will be zero. So we're gonna have potential energy of an angle zero, and then anti-parallel is gonna be the opposite direction, so a full 180, so 180 degrees. And the potential energy parallel to the electric field is the weakest, so it's actually negative. Uh, it's actually um, negative dipole moment times the field. And then when it's anti-parallel, it is um, at its maximum, so that's going to be minus, and then uh, another p. And so if we add, sorry, if we subtract those, we get negative two. PE, and it asks for the magnitude, so we can actually just say 2PE. And so if we, and we're given the dipole moment, which we just found up there, and we are actually given the strength of the electric field. So we can plug those in and say 2 times 9.3 times 10 to the negative 15th times 1100. And that should give you 2.05 times 10 to the negative 11th joules of energy. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.